Hi there, I'm just walking down to see the kiln being unpacked uh, for my new uh, collection of uh, ceramics that I've been working on. Uh, it's a bit of an experiment. Um, I haven't done any uh, ceramic work for a, a little while and when I was doing it originally um, I was working with someone, a friend of mine who's a professional ceramicist, <laughs> really knows what he's doing, that's Mark Smith, I'll put his link up. Um, and I just, throughout the lockdown, because I didn't have my own kiln and I couldn't really go and see Mark or anything like that, it's kind of fallen by the wayside a little bit. But I've managed to get back into it now and I'm really enjoying working with a different material. Uh, you know, just different way of making um, things that, you know, can excite me. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they've come out. I've joined a local uh, ceramics group, actually, who... Uh, because I've got access to all their expertise and all the equipment, uh, it's just a nice, easy way for me to get back into it. And I think I probably still will get a kiln for my studio at some point. Uh, at the moment, I'm still pretty happy to be uh, working with other people. It's nice to be around other people who are interested in the same kind of things. And, you know, obviously it'll help me kind of build up the confidence with the material. So I'm still quite new to it. I've not been doing it for that long. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to... Uh, to see how they come out and uh, yeah we'll get down there i'll put their link up they're called the clay rooms um helen and sarah down in ashbourne here uh it's a town i live in in derbyshire in the uk so uh yeah it's a good fun thing to do i'm enjoying doing something different it kind of complements the the paintings that i do and that's really what i wanted was to have uh, a different kind of work that is uh, related to my paintings obviously it's it's a you know it's a creative process which i'm quite familiar with but at the same time it isn't painting it, it's quite different it feels very different so i like the way the two uh the two different things kind of feed into each other so yeah it's gonna get down there and uh see how they came out i hope they're all in one piece <laughs> okay see you in a minute Hi. Hi. All right. Hi. Hello. So, so I get out of the way. Huh? Oh, we were there. We were there. We were ready, weren't we? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So anyway, this is good. Go for it. <laughs> Are we doing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. It's just so it's very, it's, it's really cool because it's got a few days to cool down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Great. So let's see what see what's in it. See if it all survived. Yeah. So I'm getting I'm getting put some, stuff yeah. on there because obviously we'll try everybody's work. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, looking good. Oh, that place well, mine. one out of the can. Oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Good one, Lewis. Yeah, really I'd nice. forgotten, uh, nice. I'd actually forgotten that I'd written on it. I'd scratched some writing into it. Like, oh, yeah. What? <laughs> it's like pot. <laughs> pot one. <laughs> Put pencils pot in one. here. <laughs> pot two. <Tushes. laughs> yeah, that's come out, that's come out all right. Quite yeah, really nice. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Considering uh, I'd forgotten what I was doing. It's pretty good. What else we got? Okay, okay that's amazing. <laughs> They're yours? Yes. Nice. Thank you. Now, I wasn't too sure about the shape of this one, and it actually broke. It, it, it split when I was um, when it was drying, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to cut that bit out and stick a new bit in and see what happens. So, <laughs> it kind of got away. A bit with of it. drainage. Yeah, I think yeah it's all right. But you've lost a corner off it. A little, a little bit of corner. Yeah, there, there, there is. Yeah. Oh well. There. Oh well. This was the one that I wasn't sure about. That one was quite nice. But yeah, this. Um, it's a bit green, isn't it? Is that a bit green, do you think? Yeah, I'll put that... Um, it's a bit green. Um, what is it? The what is uh, it stain. 
Oh, it's the stain. stain on there. Maybe yeah, the black oxide stays more wasn't... black. Yeah. Rather than this. Maybe I'll try something else because it's just a little bit greeny. It's really nice though. It's quite, I mean, it's quite hard. It's, it's not unpleasant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not unpleasant. Yeah. I actually quite like the way that did that split. Yeah. Especially I was kind of got... put it on quite thick so I wasn't worried about that splitting. But... It's nice, especially when you've got this colour with it. Yeah, it's just as I go like on, I want to. Um, I wanted to get more blues in the next, yeah, yeah. In the next lot, so I'm thinking I don't want, don't want to put stuff on that's going to turn it green mm. <laughs> after blue. So I might have to think about that. Yeah, the cobalt blue blue. Actually, that's quite nice. That's quite. Yeah, quite like the green on that one. So. Yeah, it's come out okay. I quite like the shape of that one as well. I wasn't. Yeah. There's one of them. Like, yeah, this one. I thought this one looked a bit like it was half done. A bit stubby. Yeah, it's a bit stubby. So I'm, I thought that's it's quite good. nice, but this has got a better, yeah, that's better. Um, proportions yeah. to it, hasn't it? Yeah. So yeah. That you've got codes yeah. that yeah. Um, yeah. Might be. Yeah. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think that is it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's so yeah, 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 yeah. So they come out okay. Yeah. I quite like there's some of this you get a press up on that. That's quite nice where you put quite a lot of um kind of brush strokes into the slip. Yeah. And um, it's nice and seashore y it's like Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well it's kind of what I was going for, yeah, that like sort of uh, things, yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah, that sort of um I mean in a way these are very much a sort of test for the next group that I want to yeah. do. So I've got this exhibition coming up. Yeah. Um, what to do. Okay, so here we are up in uh, this part of my studio. This is an area of my studio that I use for making my ceramics. It's quite handy. I've got a nice uh, couple of big sinks here, which uh, really help out a lot. Nice bag of clay ready for the next lot. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. I, you know, it needs a, a lot of work yet, this part of my studio, but um, you know, it's functional. So that'll do. And uh, yeah, and here are the pieces that I've just brought back from the clay rooms where I had them fired. So uh, yeah, I was pretty pleased with them actually. I think they came out well. I mean, I haven't done a massive amount of um, ceramic work uh, yet. You know, I've done, you know, well, I've done a fair bit, but you know, I, I still sort of consider myself a bit of a novice. So the fact that I got these pieces um, after a bit of a break, it has to be said, I haven't really made anything um, since before the lockdown because uh, I didn't have anywhere to fire it. So, uh, and then I was really busy after that. So, you know, considering that, you know, these, I was more or less considering them as, as test pieces, thinking of them as test pieces, you know, just to see if I could remember the processes that I was going through in order to get them to work. And, you know, getting familiar with the materials again. Let's move that one out of the way. I quite like the shape of that one, actually, that little um, kind of flatter sided one. Yeah, just trying to remember the processes that I was going through and the materials that I was using, uh, you know, to, to, to obviously so to make them so that they're stable, that when they go through the kiln, they come out how I want them and they don't, uh, they don't explode. <laughs> So considering that, I, what did I make? Um, I made five pieces as a test of different, various different shapes, and four of them came out really well. In fact, I'm, you know, I'm really pleased with this, with this four, this group. Um, you know, I've got these two sort of cylindrical vessels, and then this flatter vessel. Um, you know, just with a bit of uh, stoneware. They're made with stoneware, and uh, they have. A, um, porcelain slip, coloured porcelain slip. So, you know, I'm really enjoying the mark making like I do with my painting, you know, kind of really getting in there, making lots of gestural marks and textural marks. And then there's the random quality of the, uh, of the material itself, actually, um, which is really nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that before. The, the one I wasn't that um, excited about, actually, was this one. And as luck would have it, this is the one that did break um so you know there's some nice bits but i wasn't that keen on the shape i think it's a bit boring so uh i much prefer this which is a slightly more even though it's kind of blocky it's more kind of organic kind of shape um so this one yeah it's, it's got a a bit broke off here in the kiln which is probably because i put uh, i may have put too much of the clear glaze on so that might have run down and stuck to the um, the kiln base. I think that's what it was anyway. So, or I didn't wipe the bottom properly so that it was, 
you know the base so that there wasn't any glaze sticking to the to the kiln as it uh, as it dries and cools so yeah so luckily the one i wasn't that keen on is the one that broke <laughs> so it's not too bad yeah so i'm really pleased with those and i think going forward they're they're good shapes you know they're based on these kind of uh, rock shapes beachy rock shapes and they kind of complement the paintings that i've been doing and that's really what i want to do to kind of get these textures shapes colors to sort of just kind of cross influence each other really um, and that's what i was doing with my ceramics before i was using it as a way to uh, get ideas for the paintings but also using the paintings for ideas for the ceramics um, so you know they're, they're meant to kind of echo each other really and use them to kind of spark ideas going so yeah quite pleased with those it just kind of gives me confidence a bit more confidence that i can you know keep going push forward get a load done for the exhibition that i've got coming up later in the year okay anyway i hope you enjoyed watching that it's a little bit different than me talking about my ceramics rather than my paintings um you know as always if you're interested in any of my workshops books paintings ceramics all that kind of stuff please check out the link that's on the screen and also in the description to the video and obviously if you're enjoying the content that i'm putting up on youtube here please do subscribe to the channel okay i'll see you soon